everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, uh, episode 3, and we're going to continue right now. It's been a good while since I played the last one, and let's continue. We left off last with the shocking conclusion at the end of episode 2. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and, it, and an end. And it dealt with that guy, Ichabod. And ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. It's, really, it's that guy. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. It's like Holly. I don't think you want Holly, to now. It's her sister Lily. She was working to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Pudding My and name pie. is Marissa. Well, Marissa, I've got some questions. What are you doing tonight? Open arms. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. It's a jerk Crane. Then he smashed the window, the mirror. And that's where we sit today. So we shall see what happens. So, how do we take this news? What do you think, Wolf? Big B? Fucking creep. Fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Yep. Ugh, God, you think you know a person. Big B, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? your business. Shit! Crane Damn it! Oh, Bigby, calm down. Just getting mad. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. Yes. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. She's not yours but to where lose, did you remember? See her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? <laughs> right now. They were on their way out. Big B. We'll deal with you next time, beast. Wait. What do you want? What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Yeah, like Just how she disappeared? Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Promising leads. What's this? Uh, complete chapter one. Whoa, that's it. That was a good one. Buckingham Bridge. That was a quick chapter. I am honored to be asked to speak to you. Okay. We get to take over. Lily had many friends. Fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then 
you were part of a very special circle. This is the funeral. People she trusted and cared for. Snap, what are you doing here? <laughs> I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory so, of Lily will sustain as well. That whole. only one is here. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I Billy Goat talk Whiskey. About what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and I'll miss worrying patient, about you. Rash and I'll miss our fights. How she carried a torch you. for the old ways. Holly. For tradition, for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems Now so you will never die really from indifference or lead a tedious life. And Goodbye, sweetheart. She loved Thanks for loved everything. Vivian. Good times Vivian. and bad. I never met and one the last card what I've been told. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here You are a big, tonight. bright, shining star now we'll have in this shithole of a town. Of and I Thank miss you. you already. Grin. Grin. And that's it. I guess that's it. Bigby, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. No, not you. Hey, I was just if nice to you at the... wasn't fucking invited. Holly, okay. wait. He has no right to be here. I don't want to let you Not get her body. What he did. Chill down. Holly, settle down. I'll only take a minute. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? I didn't do it. Holly, anything. wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's going to be okay. Crane's a, Crane's prick. a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Mm -hmm. This one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. Yep. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, yeah. Holly, I know how this must No, feel. you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Okay, go back and mourn then. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. It's only when five the of you. first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Don't plan to stay. Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. Why don't you turn back to the troll you are? It's your turn to talk. This better be wildly important. Uh, it's I been think hard it enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... <laughs> just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or mm -hmm. at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... You know, he he plays your story over and over again. He's a great. This is. I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it, to not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. 
And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because Pretty sure. Please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We get kicked out of Fabletown for messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Mm -hmm. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Yeah, you're so, lucky I didn't show you that Marissa, picture. What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. <sighs> you're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, take I your get time. It. Take your time. It won't take long. You can wait as long as I know you're here. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Found a lot. <sighs> no? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa. Yeah, um, coming. That's what he said. Constable. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. Look at this. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you, doing? are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. I don't care. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. Mm -hmm. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Don't do this here. We're trying to pull this shit out of funeral. We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Mm. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please. Rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly <laughs> as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? Mm. Settle down. Settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are. Nice and natural. Like we're just out having it's a about Crane. Picnic. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Uh -oh. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Uh oh. Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have Calm to be sloppy now. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm uh -oh. gonna kill you! <laughs> Uh. 
We need this fool out of the action, out of the picture. Uh oh. I think she's dead. Told you to calm down. Belly full of stones. What is this completed? Well, um, I will continue this after this. Okay. Well, that started off with a bang. What's her name? Is dead. Well, I assume Holly's dead. And I wasn't gonna deal with those clowns. Alright, I will catch you guys in a bit.